Atreus, are you coming? You're not coming with me? I really need to get rid of that tendency to spam runic attacks. I do that so often. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. No way forward. But looks like there's a notch in the wall. Gotta get the right angle, right? Are you sure there's no way forward? I thought that hole looked a little bit suspicious. Doesn't that look suspicious? Oh, it's just a... What? Okay. For smashing the vases, the axe is better. Thrust of a thousand soldiers. Perform a flurry of stabs with drop near, which embed spears into the enemy. R1 for extra stabs. High damage. Oh, straight upgrade. Yeah. All right. Atreus can probably get some XP upgrades here. We got an enchantment earlier. Boon of Wrath. Spartan Rage. Wrath's activation shockwave consumes status effects on nearby enemies to cause massive damage. We can try Wrath if we do Garm. Because I'm guessing Garm will be a fight. But otherwise, I'd rather heal, really. But we should try it out at least a few times. Hex. Cunning Eagle Eye. And then last one is... Oh, one more arrow. Need more XP for that. What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Garm. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Well, Helheim's looking great. Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. Mm, not one on this size. Although I do imagine if we can do it, then that would be really powerful, right? Hi. You made that ice wall? Oh god, we can't get that guy. Those ice barriers are so annoying. But we're in hell, so of course they have them. We good? Would be nice if we can get a Mystic Gateway somewhere here. Hello, Garm! Still trying to free itself. Okay, I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run and latch him onto something. No. Too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Mm. Changing on demand. Is he trying to appeal to his wolf nature? Any more health? Oh God! What are you? Oh. Grab the chain links. Oh! 
Trent, move! Well, that went well. Are you okay? We almost... Your transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Kratos? Yes, sir. Oh no, we're reverting. He didn't teach me though. But I can't tell him about Ironwood. Oh. Well, that didn't work, did it? Are we immediately giving up on that plan? Weird dudes coming over. Behind us! Kill Brood and Legion. Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now who does not trust? Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. Atreus, I think he's pretty confident in his ability to deal with animals. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. But how? There is always a way. So maybe that's why it's so surprising to him that it didn't work. But I don't know anything about animal taming. Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. Well then, what is the obvious solution? Above you, father! <laughs> well, I like doing that. Ow. Maybe not that part. My arrows will slow her down! No! <laughs> I switched the runic summon and it's too short now. No! I should inflict one status and then switch over to the next weapon, really, for maximum effectiveness. Get the lady. I think I hear him up ahead. We do this my way now. I guess your way means... It means what you think it means. Why can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We will use it. Okay. Is that a sphere? Hmm, but killing an animal... It's a big fluffy wolf, but yeah, it's a very dangerous one. We're not killing it just to be cruel. All right, here we go. Me and my non-full health. Not good, not good. This one takes so damn long. We don't have to fight each other. It's just beyond reason, Atreus. It's got a chain here. Watch out for those chains. Oh damn! Couldn't block it. Okay, well let's do something about it then. 
next time. Ah, I see. You leave us no choice. Come here. Oh, I can't block it. That's right. Grab it. Shoot. Okay. We're gonna have to wait for an opportunity again. You meant the chain. I'm sorry. Okay. He's down again, but not for long. He's down. Oh, I just undid the axe. Is that okay? I guess so. Okay. Then let's see why they locked him up now. Ow! Gonna get a little bit closer. I was focusing on my axe. didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. We tried. We tried, but... Is that a spear? I'm sorry. I had to do that, didn't I? <laughs> Did we get an update for Garm? Actually, where was Garm before? It's not an easier. I would assume it's under foe, but I didn't see it under foe. 
friend. Oh, Lady of the Forge. Brock spoke of the lady with much reverence before our arrival. In fact, this mermaid is herself the forge of this mountain. Her melding the pieces of the drop near a spear was a sight unlike any I have witnessed. It is unfortunate she could not see Brock due to his missing soul bits. I know we read Garn before already, but okay, well, I guess that's that. I don't think an update it anyway. We tried our best. At least the threat is gone now. To all the realms. Can we just go home now? Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. Another locked door? I know, right? Onslaught shield. A shield inspired by the tales of Aesir. Aesir, it's gone. Well, we gotta try it, right? A shield for safely advancing on enemies. Double tap to shield rush. Oh. While blocking. Use from a greater distance to launch enemies on impact. Interesting. That really is interesting. We'll try it out. But I feel like Atreus's empathy is exactly his good point, though. We're kind of like taking it away, closing your heart off to things. It'll hurt less, but being empathetic is, um, it's a virtue. Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. What about this? That should do it. Do you have an idea? Hmm. Maybe we can use my sigils to carry the frost to the gear. Wow, that's almost exactly like what we just did. On. I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that. <laughs> Kratos! <laughs> Keep going, Kratos. This is not working. What about the car? Whoa! It can make a break for frost. Oh! How? We gotta go. Come on, through the hole in the floor. We came back? What do we do? I do not know. You don't know? Do not stop. Run! Where? The staff! Outside! Please go away. Please go away. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Atreus. Not the time to be screaming about that. Go! Uh, let's go home then. I think we should go. Oh? Oh! Hey, maybe we can free it! Maybe we can free it! We don't have to kill it after all? Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Goodbye, I don't have time for you! Let's go, let's go, let's go! The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. <laughs> yes, and that goes both ways. <laughs> you hear that? Where is he? <laughs> Oh! Oh no! You good? Yes. Now we fight. 
Here we go again. <laughs> okay, let's focus on. He's gotta have some points. I'm trying to, but it's not exactly. Okay, now what? I got a different shield. I'm done with you, please. Go home. Go home, my friend. No, is it working? I can see that. How does he keep coming back? That is his nature. You gotta change that. Fast! It's like he doesn't have a soul to kill. Wait, I think I can stop this. How? I need you to help me get on his back. What? Trust me, please. I got this. You do it your way then. Okay, please hurry up and uh, your. Shield up! Enough already! Atreus! Atreus! Are you done? This doesn't work. Atreus! You want me to help you? Okay! Now's our chance! They're stunned! Grab Now! Please work, please work, please work! I'm sorry! Oh, the soul! The soul and the knife! Why do things keep not having souls? What happened? We gotta find him! Come on! Okay. Well, it would be weirder if it died that easily. Yes, yes. Sorry, Atreus. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But... I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could change its nature. Yeah, let's see if Ooh. it's a... <laughs> change its nature. Wait, why did you do the spell if you didn't know it was gonna do that? You just thought it was a comforting lullaby to send him off, maybe? <gasps> Lucky coincidence, I suppose. Let's hope it works. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. <laughs> it's we that despite all the troubles they have, that their love for each other is true, and nobody would question that. We might fight, people might try to come between us, but we care for each other, we love each other. 
That much is always gonna be real. Well, it's weaker. You're okay. Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? Oh! Is that okay? I kind of feel like we're doing some black magic stuff. Putting souls here and there. Good boy! Yeah. I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. Hi. We did it! What does that mean then? Sit. <laughs> How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing no. to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me? Home. Home in Midgard or Helheim? In Midgard? Like our forest home? It is done. We should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me, that's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. It's not my nature, but it's my form. Fenrir! The wolf Fenrir has been in decline for some time now, da 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 da. What was once a dangerous hellhound tearing into the realms has now become Atreus' wolf Fenrir returned. His knife had captured Fenrir's soul, plunging it into Garm, released the soul into the body. I am not fearful of my son's abilities, but his power takes me by surprise as it grows. But why was Garm initially, like, soulless? That's what I wonder about. Or do they make a distinction between, like, um higher order being, so to say, one with conscious thought and stuff versus a wild animal, which is not really the same. Not as intelligent, I guess, and then that is considered not having a soul. Feels a little bit like black magic. But hey, if it works, you can't argue with the results. Nope. <laughs> That's what I heard. Uh, how am I getting over there? This again, really? Great, it's open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. I don't like this puzzle. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. I'll trust whoever can help me. Hmm. Got no Mimir. Hresvilger, mighty Hresvilger, swallower of the dead, author of the winds, is not the first to claim the title of hell, nor will she be the last. Since the time of the earliest frosts, nine rulers have fulfilled that role, with her tenure having lasted the longest. But when will her dominion end? And will she be supplanted by force or abandon her title willingly? The dead watch and wait. Why doesn't Mimir like going to Helheim again? 
This is different. What was the other way? Oh! Uh. <laughs> I thought you were going home. Hold on. Let me try this side first. <laughs> this oh the mystic gateway got buried I have it this is the way What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. Compliment from your dad. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, all right? That's a great idea. I need to know you'll be okay without me. Be sorry, Father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, that's great. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Great. Whatever happens, it won't be because we're not a united front. That is good. And now, of course, before we leave, I gotta go check out all the other side. What about Garm or uh, Fenrir on the other side? This is where we came f Yeah, this is the beginning. Oh, I feel like we haven't even gotten a proper hug. And whatever. Because Kratos is so macho man and... We don't show emotions around here. We have to, if you want a... 
a decent relationship with her son. Thank goodness Atreus is still receptive. Like, he understands that we do this because we love him. Because I feel like some other kid might be like, you know what, screw my dad, <laughs> F this, and just get out of here. Look, it's Rasslugger. Oh! Should we talk to her? I thought you were Garm! Hi. Rossvilger? How are you? Rossvilger! Garmulesa Kerku! Says there's six tears to close and uh not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. Okay. Rasvelger, we have spoken to the eagle that presides here in Helheim. She watched from afar while I battled the bridge keeper in our prior journey. Now by releasing Garm, we have opened six tears to Helheim! Rasvelger is not pleased, but does not appear to be our enemy. That is for the best. Oh, we got two already. We'll be back, okay? And, um, you don't have to thank us. We'll make it right or something. Six tears in Helheim? Well, it's not marked. Wherever they are. <laughs> I'm guessing it's probably not here then. Usually they're pretty good about, like, actually telling me about places. Yeah. I do see there's one Hell's Perch has an undiscovered thing. I'm sure we'll be back again sometime. Okay, son, let's uh let's hug and and show Hey, well we we solved the problem relatively quickly, didn't we? For all the trouble it caused. Hopefully it was only maybe a few hours of trouble. A day max. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. <laughs> Forgot how many secrets we were keeping from Dad. <laughs> Very nice of Freya to not say anything, too. Actreus should appreciate that. <laughs> that spear was there for so long. Boss man here. So sorry. He's off cleaning up all the damage Garm did. And try back soon, yeah? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> sorry. I fixed it though. Uh, hopefully things will be okay, good. Sooner rather than later. Why you do a weird little screaming? The leaf is gone. back. How did it go? The beast should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. 
Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? Well, Atreus is back. We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. Hmm. We will join her when we can. Now we're back to being pacifistic, kind of, and Freya still wanting to take the fight to him. Our interests not align anymore. Father, I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. Sindri's really... Heard While about it. We're clearing the air. I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. We have a whole bunch of pacifists here. Atreus is here for all intents and purposes. Kratos might be okay with this temporarily, anyway. Hmm. I can sharpen that axe if you want. Live in Whetstone. That's me. I think I need to clear my head. <sighs> Gonna go to bed. A little bit sad Freya left us, but she really does want to keep. Freya's made her room so verdant. Oh. I don't suppose she'd mind. But there's no bed here. She's just gonna sit on the ground. Oh, much better. Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, think about your breathing, try and find stillness in your mind? No. <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. Before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. Don't actually think we have that much unfinished business. We can have a look around. Your axe looks overdue for a good hammering. Give her here. You are well. <laughs> take more than a porch full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled. By a bear! Nudged more like it. 
Have you guys talked about the whole soulless thing yet? I feel like that's... Well, I mean, none of my business, really. Now that is an axe. Nothing for the blades yet. Nothing for the spear yet. New shield. Haven't really tried it out too much. So we'll keep going. Aziz. Special items. The enchantment sets. We have two Niflheim. There's so many. Remedy of the Bifrost. Successful enemy successful attacks against enemies will cleanse small amounts of Bifrost. That doesn't come up often enough, really. Eh. Relics. I I can increase these, but I like my Bifrost one right now. Hmm. Niflheim, Alfheim. So I'm looking at the Niflheim. I have two equipped. I have two Niflheim equipped, but if I can get three... Set bonus. Increase Kratos' melee damage when he's above 75% health, based on his defense. That's actually a lot, but 75% health? I can make another one right now. Pretty sure I can. Niflheim's Fortune. Defense 5, Vitality 8. Defense? Well, this has higher defense to begin with. Yeah, I'm trying to see how that goes. Mm. Token of Elemental Evasion. I don't use this that often. You can go away. And then I'll just be like that. Right, so now I have a perk here. Oh, okay. I can do another one for Svartalfheim or Jotunheim. Jotunheim increases Ma Kratos' maximum rage based on vitality. Svartalfheim increases sun damage based on defense. I like sun damage. So these ones don't do any sets then. Svartalfheim, I have... Yes, Svartalfheim's honor. I guess I'll take away one of the Jotunheim ones. This one gives defense. Let's take away the strength one then. Right now we have two sets. For now. Okay. Cool, I suppose. Can I do this one? Atreya's extra arrow. Can Freya get an extra arrow? We're all good here. General's deception. Uh-huh, bronze tier for that one. We're getting places. Slowly. Oh, this one's unlocked. Frost Awaken. And then Pride of the Frost. Sweet. These ones I haven't really used too much. R1, R1, R... Wait, switch stances. Pausing in between. I'm looking at the video. So hit once, pause, and then R1, R1, R1. Okay, I can try that, maybe. Do we actually have stuff? Like, in terms of favors? Spirit of Rebellion. Oh, shoot, I completely forgot to go back to Durlin. I got sidetracked. Well, that might be good, because Zvartalvime... Yeah, because we can go do the Berserker now, right? I don't know if we'll be able to, but... Okay. Why don't we do that, then? It's basically the only favor I have. I think... Mostly, I'm going to be more interested in the favors, the side quests. If it's not a side quest, then I'm not going to um, worry too much about it. I'm just going to keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Oh. Well, okay. You can see the picture of the mask in there. Mimir? I'm going to head out now. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to head out now. <laughs> hey, wait. We're with you.
Want to toss your back yet? Good. You heard I was looking for you. Oh. The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being <laughs> polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Until our next encounter, then. Well, thank you, Radatoskar. You're very kind. Yes, we'll be moving along to other things now, you hulking dingbat. Excuse me? <laughs> I did notice last time Radatoskar was being very pushy about solving his problem right away, though. But I didn't think it was mean or anything. 